Hey friend, I launched a podcast. It's called Travel Light with Chase Reeves. There's episodes on there with James Clear, my old business partner, Corbett Barr, on the state of the creator economy. I've been thinking about launching a podcast for so long. Seriously, it's like a, it's sort of a big deal. So uh, thank you to all of you who have downloaded it already. If you haven't yet, go check it out. And while you're there, leave me a review on Apple Podcasts. It really helps with discovery. And if I've ever done anything for you, if you have a bag or a shirt or a pouch or a pen or a pair of shoes <laughs> or a perspective that I've <laughs> helped you decide on in any way, it would mean a ton to me if you if you listen to the podcast because you might really like it. And if, if you reviewed it because I think that would really help me. Thank you. I am uh, out here in Asheville, North Carolina. We're spending a couple months here. Never been out here before. It's been awesome so far. We're also gonna probably go check out Austin, Texas, because it seems like if you, it seems like you're supposed to. There's such a bunch of insecurity in my life. And, uh, and, and you know what? Maybe insecurity is the wrong word. It's certainly uncertainty. You know, this gets to something that matters to me about this podcast. Like I'm planning, I want to talk about the creative process. I want to talk about people who are creative out there. I know that a lot of us are creatives. I know that uh, even if you don't think you're a creative, you're, you're probably really creative. Like I say to my daughter, every time she calls for me when she needs help being cleaned up from the bathroom, I'm like, you are such a creative pooper. You're creative, and uh, chances are, if you're gonna have a job in the future, uh, you're gonna need, <laughs> need to be some kind of creative, because the robots are doing everything else. Actually, the robots are doing creativity, too. Because so much of cre creativity is like iteration and just coming up with a million versions. Did you see that, what is it, a Nutella bottle? A Nutella thing, I think it was Nutella, where they ju the, the artificial intelligence that they designed just created thousands of these labels and then you can just you can do some tests to see what people like more. And now you're now you actually it's like Tim Ferriss coming up with the title of his book, right? It's a four hour douchebag. <laughs> I'm sorry, I love that book. But with all the insecurity, like in the world, I feel a ton of insecurity. But in my life, like we're we're at this place that we're living right now for another couple weeks, uh, a couple two three weeks, and then we've got to figure out where we're gonna live next. And it's a little bit coming down to the wire because my son, who's 11. I just want, I don't want to have to drag him, I don't want to drag him around place to place to place all the time. You know, I want to find a good school that we're going to connect to and that he's, anyways, I don't have to get you in, in that. The point being that uh, I don't know. I just don't know. And that's the context within which I launched this podcast. And I got to tell you, after thinking about launching a podcast for years, making tons of notes like, oh yeah, that'd be really cool if I did that. Oh yeah, this is ideas. You know, writing in my journal about so many things and never really doing it. It does feel good to have launched it. You know, it's like, it's like it actually launch launching is, is quite depressing launching a new thing because, uh, uh it just, there's a thing it was like post launch depression can, can happen. Definitely have my fair share of that. But I do notice that my brain is, I can see things that I couldn't see before because I was, I didn't have this thing that now I'm able to do. This new podcast, Travel Light with Chase Reeves. I thought the name's pretty good, Travel Light, right? Because it gets to this whole idea of, you know, life is a journey, man, but you can't take anything with you when you go. And maybe it'll be easier to travel if you have less baggage. Don't you see how like all of these things work? Like, like it matters how you carry yourself through life. I just love that all these, this could be a bag review or it could be like uh, Buddhism for dummies. So there are three ways that I'm asking you to help me today or that you can if you'd like. The first is just to listen to the podcast, see if you like it. I hope that you do. If you don't, no worries. It's not for everybody. But that would be number one. Number two would be give us a review on Apple Podcasts. It really helps us. Maybe Google Podcasts does this too. I don't know. I I. I I've got the RSS feed over at chasereeves.co. So even if you're 
if your app doesn't show it up yet. Anyways, you can leave us a review. That really, really helps uh, with discovery later on. It matters a bunch. Uh, and then number three, there's a little survey that I'll link to below that's only a, a few questions. But I love hearing back from people on like where you are in life. It's a survey about you that I will be using to, to like get creative, to get inspired. Like there's so many interesting responses to this. I'm going through every single response. So I'll link to that below. Those are three ways you can help me. Listen, hopefully you like it. You can leave us a review and you can fill out the survey. Links to all three of those are below. I'm glad, I'm just like, this all this video is supposed to say, all I wanted to say is, hey, I'll launch a podcast, go listen if you can. I know I mentioned it in the previous video. Um, if you follow me on Twitter or Instagram, you've, you've heard about it, but I, I wanted to do something specific here because YouTube, your comments, you, you people, lots of you have mentioned you got to do a podcast. Lots of you have resonated with what um, I've, like my rambles and my rants and stuff like that. And that has, uh, that has meant a, a, like a lot to me. It's meant a lot to me. I can't, I actually can't understate that. Some of you have even jumped over into Patreon and said like, oh, hey, here's some bucks every month because I like what you're doing. Check out the Patreon. Patrons will get all the podcast episodes without ads and stuff like that. That's my goal. They already, they'll normally get them like right after I've recorded the interview part. So if that's interesting to you, check out Patreon. But you guys have, uh, and gals and, and, and everything, anything you want to be called. I'm so grateful for the way you have, uh, you could have been, and there's plenty, there's been plenty of dicks, but like there's such an overwhelming sense of support from the people here uh, that uh, it just feels good for my little ballerina heart, my scared little timid ballerina heart. And I'm a little nervous. Launching a podcast is doing something new is, is just kind of scary. You know, so I, it, you make it, you make it easier because you've supported me so much here. And we're going to be right back to the regular scheduled programming. I've got like three bags, two photo bags that I've got a, I'm super stoked to pull out. And like one, I've been testing a bunch, one that just came in. I've got new pouches from a couple big companies. I'm excited for that. I still like, it's, it's so much fun to get into these, these products that I've, that I, for some reason have access to and to just spout off on my opinion and show you them so you know what it looks like when you get it. Because otherwise you're just going from the marketing materials and like this, this little, why is that? Why do we have that little voice in our head that's like, yeah, you know, if you got that, if you got that, <laughs> someone like that would be into you and your life would really, could really take a turn for the better. If you just had that thing and it, it's like, man, like, there are a handful of things in my life that have like absolutely changed the way I could live my life because I had them. This, like Fuji X100T, this thing cost me like 400 bucks on Craigslist. It's an old version of it. It's not the one I would get right now. But I love the way that the images look. I love that it has this kind of cool vibe. This Canon EOS R with the 15 to 35 millimeter lens. You can check my gear kit dot co or com or whatever link below because it uh, I list everything that I use there that thing and that light you can go to the kit.co or com or what you'll see it in the in the description the these have changed my life they look so much better than what I was doing before right um, there are some things that I've purchased that have really significantly upgraded my my life made me capable of doing more or doing things that I was already doing at a level that I felt better about. So there are some times when you need to buy that new pair of running shoes, okay? There's other times when your research about running shoes is just keeping you from running. There's so many times in your life and certainly in mine where thinking about products that I should have uh, is actually distracting me from just doing the work. Like the work is here. You know, this is where the work is. Coming up, like, it's here. It's here, right? The work is 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 wherever your work is, right? And, and it's, probably, it's probably doable with whatever shitty pair of running shoes you have because the work is out there on the road, right? And that's what I want to be about. And I've incentivized myself here. I, I got a, I, the only way I really get paid is, is affiliate commissions. And so I'm always needing to be talking to you about stuff to buy. And the podcast, I basically can't do that, right? Like I'm, I'm forced into not doing that, which I love. 
I love that. I still want to be I still want to be evaluating these products that have the potential to upgrade our lives in meaningful ways, right? I still am so interested in that because I am a product designer. I am a lover and a curator of well-designed lifestyles and everyday goods. Thank you because you've encouraged me, encouraged me to do a podcast. It's out. Please listen. I would love to see your reviews and fill out that survey, you know, be yourself. Everyone else is taken.